Allah, the Glorious shares a story with us in the Holy Quran about a group of people that lived before us from the children of Israel, who lived in a village by the sea and made their livelihood from fishing. They were disobeying God, so God sent them a test where he instructed them not to fish on the day of Sabbath, Saturday, but they were allowed to fish on the other days of the week. God the Almighty tested them by not having any fish in the sea all week, and on the day of the Sabbath, a lot of fish would be out. There would be so many fish that they would see them jump out of the water. The appearance of the plentiful fish was a trial from Allah to test the faith, obedience, and patience of the community. This greatly frustrated the fishermen. They could not tolerate the observance of the Sabbath any longer, but at the same time, did not want to outrightly disobey Allah. Some of those people devised a strategy they fixed their fishing nets and ropes and excavated streams allowing the sea water to run through and the fish to get in but never go back to the sea. They made all this on Friday, in preparation for the coming of the fish on Saturday. And thus, the fish came on the supposedly peaceful day, knowing not what has been prepared against them. They were caught in the nets, ropes and artificial streams. When they returned, the day after the Sabbath, they found a lot of fish in their nets and took them home. The rest of the villagers, who did not participate in such sinful acts, were divided into two groups. The first actively disapproved of the actions and warned the wrongdoers to rectify their ways before the punishment and torment of Allah fell upon them. The second remained silent in the face of all this wrongdoing. They did nothing to reprimand the wrongdoers. They allowed the disobedience to continue, even though they did not actively participate in such wrongdoing. When the disobedient people did not refrain from their evil act despite being forbidden from it, then those who attempted to prevent them said that they would no longer keep any ties with them. Therefore, they built a wall to separate themselves from the wrongdoers. The village was divided and separate entrance and exit were made. One day, their doors did not open till the noon. The people got anxious and sent one of them to see what happened to them from above the barrier. When he looked he found them turned into monkeys with tails, shouting. They opened the doors, barrier, and the monkeys recognized their relatives while their relatives could not recognize them. The number of those who were turned into monkeys was 12,000. They lived for three days and were not able to eat or drink anything during that time, and died in this state of hunger and thirst. The group that stopped them from fishing was saved and according to authentic narrations, the ones that remained silent and considered it bad were also saved from Allah's punishment. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.